What's going on everybody? Brad here, back with another toy hunt for you guys. Uh, today I am at Target. I'm gonna check it out. Uh, as far as the internet has shown me, there's a lot of good stuff popping up at Target. I have seen uh, a lot of people saying they're picking up the Ford Explorer pack with the T-Rex and Timmy. Um, I've seen Bumpy, I've seen Ceratosaurus, I've seen these awesome little plushies. I've seen so many cool things. Um, so we're gonna see if we can track them down here. I don't know, I, I, I don't know. According to the internet, um, there should be some stock here, but we'll see. I don't know, those things never have panned out for me. Anytime I've checked the stock online, it never shows up in the store. Um, usually that means it's like in the back or somebody doesn't wanna get it or whatever the case may be. But um, so far I've seen a lot of people um, posting their images say, saying they've picked up these items. Usually what the case is, is uh, they show up out on the West Coast out here in the States. And I guess that's where they're distributed so it's easier to, to you know, get them into stores out there. And slowly but surely they make their way out to the East Coast very slowly usually i feel like within like the next month is when i'm <laughs> was when i'm like seeing things on my shelves um i'm not complaining they usually end up here but like it's just like i i'm always like antsy and just ready to pick up stuff when i see people have them in their hands so we'll see uh i'm gonna take you guys out on the hunt so let's go all right so here's pretty much everything <laughs> Not much up here. We'll get to that thing in a second here. But uh, yeah, some good, some new stuff down here. Some new stuff. We got the Spino. Uh, I don't think I've seen this in stores at all. So that's very awesome to see. I love this one so, so much. It's so good. Look at that thing. Man. Yeah, it's awesome. This is so cool. Pick this up if you can because it is unbeatable. I also have this amazing T-Rex here. I do have this one as well. So, two new things here I already have, but uh, this is a fantastic Rex. Look at this thing. So beautiful. So many great features. You got this capture gear here, which is awesome to include that again. So I'm super thankful they've decided to add that to the mix. But yeah, here we go. And, and I can fit it in, but there we go. Um, oh yeah, here you go. I love that so much. $39.99? Not bad. But this guy, um, I have not seen an Indoraptor in so, so long. I wonder why. Why is it back? It's so strange. That's awesome though. I'm so glad to see it again because I thought it was gone forever. It looks so strange after seeing the Scorpius for so long now. I love it though. But yeah, weird, there's nothing up there. Everything's over here for some reason. What's going on, attack packs? Nothing new, nothing new, but they at least moved the thing over, which is weird. I don't know why it's all the way over here, but got a few laying around. And laying around over here too, real far away. What is it doing? So, yeah. All right, so back from the toy hunt and, um, you know, definitely on the more disappointed side, but it can't be, it can't be too disappointing because there were some good things. <laughs> there were some good things on the shelves to, to see the Spinosaur on a shelf at Target was just like, heartwarming you know it's it's an item that i have had for a while now um i think yeah i had somebody pick it up in canada for me <laughs> because you know it's a spinosaur is it going to show up again are we going to have a chance to get it you never know with the spinosaur um so far i guess you know with the uh with the original one uh you know that one came and went and you never really saw anything about it the same thing with the blue one that that thing just like never was seen again um so with this one i wanted to be careful so i got it right away from target had it sent uh not from target sorry from canada had it sent my way and uh i've had it on my shelf for a while now and we did a review so go check out the review if you want that um but it was just very very heartwarming to see it on the shelf and to know that you know, there's no stress involved this time around. There were plenty of them on the shelf. I don't know what the restocks are going to be. So 
definitely go pick them up if you if you see one because that is my favorite of the spinosaurus so far i did not pick up the blue one i wish i did at this point um but uh i think it's better than the original one the, the legacy one so i think this one's more akin to what that spinosaur is um so it's very good to see that um and then what was the other one? Oh, the 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 t-rex blank and completely stomping escape maybe i don't know there's too many like words tied together that are like buzzy words that <laughs> are have to do with the t-rex escaping and trash thrashing and like just throwing and and stomping and biting and roaring epically and i never like i, I think i just said all of them chomping there's always a chomping in there uh so i never know which one's which but i think this is stomping escape probably wrong uh but anyway that one also is a fantastic figure i do have that one i forget where i got that one where did i get that one i don't know did mattel maybe sent that to me i don't remember sorry apologies mattel um anyway it showed up at my house one day and i opened that thing and it is really 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 cool it's it's got so many awesome playability features and stuff like that and i think it's got to be the best t-rex out there paint job and, and just the the features and everything stomping the roaring everything is perfect on that it's flawless um and then yeah other other than that it was just kind of a mess um i don't know if i don't think i showed it in the video but there's mosasaurs there's um you, I, you couldn't really see it i don't think in a video because i wasn't searching around there was a ton of people inside um but the epic no super colossal spot uh nope not a spino i wish super colossal carno was there indominus was like there but also like just in the aisle the other attack packs were just like in a random spot they at least moved the tag, so that's a good thing. Um, but other than that, none of the other uh, fun stuff that we've been seeing, the, the brand new stuff, um, nothing nothing of that sort so far. But uh, I know the reset date is coming up, so I'll double check again uh, after that date or in the coming days here because uh, I, I wanna check it out. I wanna see the new stuff. So thank you so much for watching along with me. I hope you enjoy these toy hunts. I know you guys usually do. So whatever kind of content you guys wanna watch, let me know. Uh, typically we're just a podcast, but we do all these fun, you know, extra, uh, pieces for you guys to, to tag along and join in, in the Jurassic fandom. You know, that's really what it's all about is uh, this is how I celebrate my fandom. I record a podcast every week. I, I talk with fellow Jurassic fans, but I also go hunting for my collection to, to build out my collection and to showcase stuff on the channel and do all that, that fun stuff. And uh, I try to, you know, show my love for Jurassic in many ways. So hopefully you enjoy those, all those ways that we're putting out on the channel. Uh, please give a watch to everything that we put out there. It really, really means a lot. Not just the toy content. I'm looking at most of you guys. Keep watching the other stuff too. Anyway, <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching. Stay safe out there. Be kind. Please, YouTube, be kind to everybody. That's a key factor. So, so be good, stay kind, and uh, we'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.